Well, I'm on my second cup of coffee this morning. It's a Monday morning, December the 3rd, and I'm gearing up to get ready to pack. We have basically a little less than two weeks. We have to be out um, in on the 15th. And as you all know, I've decluttered a ton, so I feel pretty good about it, but I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me. I think I ordered only one thing from Amazon. I ordered some labels to put on my boxes and I'll try and link those below because I know that some of you guys are moving and packing and stuff as well and you've wanted packing videos. So we're not doing any movers. I know a lot of people do movers, but I'm just gonna work on packing a lot of it. Nick will probably help me some, um, maybe even in you know carrying boxes around and stuff, but then we'll probably have some help loading everything and then we'll have to stay in my parents' basement for about a week and a half. Um, can you tie these shoes? Um, I don't know. They're a little big, but who are you? Who are you? Um, please. Okay, I'll tie him in a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to eat my yogurt parfait and try to get started. <laughs> I'm using mostly the medium sized boxes from Lowe's. They're just kind of a nice a size that doesn't get too big um, because obviously, if the boxes are too big, it's going to get too heavy anyway. I got a couple things at the Dollar Tree, some extra large storage bags. There's two in these. Figure this could be good for bedding, possibly. I'm not sure yet. And then I got one of these mattress covers. I don't know if I'll use them. And then this is just an idea I had. I don't know if it'll actually work, but it's like a bath liner thing you would put in the bathtub. But what I was thinking of, it could actually act as like a cushion, maybe to put between like some plates and some things like that. I figured I could cut them into smaller sections. Then I got a couple of these um, bigger liners or like the things that mailers I guess you would call them. I thought I could put um, depending like some picture frames. I'm not sure yet. I'll think about that. The boys are watching something. Um, they are very um, overzealous in wanting to help me. <laughs> Uh, so I think I might have to just kind of bend the rules a little bit and let them watch more than I would maybe normally like to let them watch. So for the time being, in order to keep my sanity, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll see what I can get done. So I have one box here with pillows and stuff, but then I also am putting in some picture frames these are some they have glass in them i just figured that's one way i can cut down on wrapping and that kind of thing don't give me wrong i love my life these concrete walls these city lights what i'm about to say it won't make no sense but i gotta get it off my chest I think you can make another another room look cool though. Well, in it Florida, looks, it looks so trashy. In yeah, there. I know. Maybe you can pick up your toys and it wouldn't look so trashy. No. This is part of moving. It's the pictures. Everything is so all gone. I know, but we'll fix it up in Florida. Is that all right? There's nothing to do. <laughs> so I'll admit it has not been going the smoothest today, but I'm trying to push through. This is what it's looking like right now. 
Um, I'm actually just trying to use some things that I have, um, maybe like in storage. There's like a scarf. There's some glass items and stuff in here. I Hopefully it'll be okay. I have to maybe reinforce a couple things here. But pillowcases, trying to use what I have so I don't have to go like buy things. Then over here I was kind of um, mixing things around with like my greenery and stuff. That way it kind of, you know, can pad some things. And over here, I used a couple of um, those sleeve protectors that I was showing you guys right there. And hopefully this should work. I know that if you stand them on end, they are less likely to break. So it's not the end of the world if any of this stuff breaks. Um, so, do you have something to say, Kaden? Um, what are you thinking about all this moving? Oh. It's excited that we're gonna move the floor to. Can you reach your or put your head up and tell them that? Oh, uh, I like going to Florida. I love Florida. I love looking. I love. There's looking. one that's having struggles down here. What, Jackson? <coughs> that's a little bit of what we've been having today. Lots of fits and crying. <coughs> <laughs> Nick is going to be home I think in decent time tonight so that'll be nice um, so I'm going to keep doing what I can do and probably need to go make dinner soon All right, guys, I'm back day two of packing. I had the boys at our babysitters today, and I'm going to see what I can kind of get done. I feel like I'm about halfway on the upstairs, and I don't know if I'm going to move down. I will probably start taking down some decor and stuff. I have not figured out what I'm going to do with all of my bigger um, pictures yet because some of them won't really fit in regular size boxes so i'll see once i do have some very large um it's actually it's not really bubble wrap but it's stuff that we use down in our crawl space and that my husband's work sells and we have a huge roll of it left so i'll probably try and just kind of cut it down if i need to like for glassware stuff if it's not too bulky i'm not too sure how it's going to work out but trying to make do with that um, so that is kind of the status of it um, as far as the labels um, take for instance this one is purple it says bedroom number three so I could label all the rooms down there with a sticker or like have a sheet of paper with a sticker on it and that way people can see mostly it's just gonna be my family and us unloading probably but in any case it helps it a little bit and I don't have to do as much writing and then I specifically label stuff um, on the boxes if I you know I either put it on the top somewhere or on the side the side is probably the best idea but I did get a little bit more specific um, on top like so um, so that is kind of what I'm working with Just got some packages from FedEx. I did not know they would be this big, but I could have guessed. Um, I ordered some bunk beds for the boys for Florida. It's just gonna work better in their room, but anyway. So I guess I'll add this to the stack of stuff. For those of you curious, um, this is pretty much all of my extra baby clothes and stuff. I also have over here, I've got like my bumbo seat and a boppy pillow and some things like that. But here is basically the only extra baby clothes that I have and I feel like it's still quite a bit. I've already purged a lot over the years but I kind of kept 
staple items from different sizes up until probably about two years old maybe. I also have some blankets and some different things like that but it's kind of hard to know um, what I would need and if I'll even need it ever. I don't know but it's a manageable amount I think and I'm going to leave it at that. Moving down to the downstairs, I'm gonna collect uh, some more fall decor and stuff and put it in hopefully one or two boxes. I'm not sure yet. And then I may start on the kitchen stuff, at least some of the things that we're not using. But I'm feeling pretty good about everything right now. Upstairs is mostly done, I would say. I mean, there's gonna be loose ends to do, of course, and some bigger pieces and stuff, but I feel really good about what's left. And then downstairs here, I haven't done a whole lot yet. So I'm gonna work on some of that. quits for today I'm feeling a little tired and I should do some editing and just take it easy I feel really good about how things are coming along so I'm gonna try and just pace myself a little bit more because I still have a little bit of time but I hope that this video was helpful for you guys if you're in the process of moving I don't really feel like I gave a whole lot of tips and I don't know if it is helpful but I do hope that it inspires you guys and I hope that it helped you in some way or another. So I just enjoyed documenting our journey in moving and everything. So I hope you stick around if you're new and I'll leave it at that. I will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.